Hey, what's up? My name is Katherine, and today we're gonna be watching and reviewing the first episode of the third season of Legacies on The CW. If this is not your first time here, you probably already know I am obsessed with The Vampire Diaries. No, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed and The Vampire Diaries led on to two spinoff shows, The Originals and Legacies. Legacies has been... A hot mess inside a dumpster fire inside a train wreck. Interesting so far, it definitely seems like it's geared towards a younger demographic and as such the storylines feel a lot more childish than the other two shows. At this point I'm pretty much only watching for Hosey, but I just thought it would be fun to watch this with you guys. So if you're new here I'd absolutely love to have you subscribe. If there's any videos, movies, TV shows, things you'd like to see me review, definitely feel free to make suggestions down below. Anything that's streamable I'm down to watch. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. But thank God there's a recap. I have no recollection of what happened. I love you, Hope. Always and forever. I know that they were not just trying to make always and forever the representation of the millennium long relationship of the Michelson family into the motto of this teenage, boring, passionless, heterosexual relationship. The disrespect. You are kidding. He is kidding, right? No, not really. If we stand united as a school... How does he still have a job? As president of the Student Activities Committee, I'd like to welcome you all to the first ever Salvatore School Field Day. The I would be so pissed. So pissed. Like, I'm here to learn magic. I'm not here to exercise. Honestly, bullying at a magic school is so funny. Like, that's hilarious. Ted? Sorry to bug you. I, I think I just forgot my headphones. I'm sorry. He's just sitting here in, like, the afterlife listening to Spotify. Whoa. You're no horse. Great, so it looks like we're still sticking to the monster of the week format for this show instead of having a plot that runs throughout the course of a whole season and one bigger clear antagonist. I'm really excited about that. You! Like out of all the antagonists they could have like chosen slash decided to keep, they chose to keep, <clears throat> they chose to keep the necromancer. I mean, his accent is kind of funny, but like the SFX, mm, it's giving me like Disney cast member. The dark magic I was promised remains out of my grasp until Birdbrain here returns from the dead. Birdbrain. I just know if Lizzie had witnessed that, she would be friends with the necromancer just for calling Landon Birdbrain. Lizzie's insults of Landon are like the best thing about this show. And Lizzie. This is going so great. Right? <laughs> Except for whatever Wade's doing. Oh. Uh. Josie and Landon didn't have sex, which means you might still want to plant your flag on Muppet Treasure Island. If I'm elected as your captain, I want you to know that I'm only choosing witches for my team. So they're the campaigning starts in the coven for field one day. Obvious captain. exception we can all agree on. With a gentle reminder that I know where you all live. Who votes for me? Do you think I want you to get any of that black magic? Literally everybody else was cool with it, you fellow bread. I really would like an alliance between Lizzie and the necromancer, just because of their shared aptitude for insulting Landon. Alyssa wormed her way onto a team full of vampires and werewolves and chose tug of war. Now how is that fair? Vampires and werewolves versus witches. I've always wondered, vampires and werewolves are definitely a different species from humans, but do are witches also a different species or do they just count as like upgraded humans? Let's discuss, let me know. That looks fun. This must have been such a fun day on set. I would have had so much fun being Kaylee on this day. <laughs> you trying to help is the problem. Everybody should be mad at me for what I did. Having this fight in front of like the whole student body anything. is actually hell. Like this is so awkward for everyone to witness. You're I would be so worse like you used to. Um I can explain. Well, kind of. 
Or, well, she can. I am Nimue. Their colored contacts budget must have been $2. The wig budget is just the tip jar at McDonald's. Whatever's in there, that was their wig budget. Which, as it turns out, is the actual Excalibur. <laughs> You hesitate. This world will surely be plunged into darkness. Same dude, Sim. Sorry, we've been through this sort of thing way too many times. Yeah, we have. Maybe it's time for a new type of plot line. The Dementors are coming. Wait, I'm sorry. Is there literally no adult supervision at this field day? Alaric just said, I'm going to put every single one of my underage supernatural students on a bus and let them go play sports without adult supervision. But if you do not believe yourself capable of it and you value your lives. They say value your lives like anyone dies on this show. Pedro is the best character what on this show. Would it be that bad to have a ghost roommate? <laughs> so I want you to put his spirit in me. Well, this just got spicy. <laughs> okay, honestly, I take back my necromancer slander. I think he adds comedy. I think I kind of like him, actually. I, I don't like his SFX and like the costume thing, but I like him. But the truth is, we need you here. This feels illegal. Like, this doesn't... Mm. They're just fighting over which underage child should fight the monster. So thank you, Lizzie, for reminding us all that your sister exemplifies those qualities. It should be her who faces an honorable death against Gigantor over there. I'm Team Monster now. Good luck beating one without me. <laughs> Alyssa was right. It has to be me. So she's just like going in, no magic, raw dogging, fighting a monster. Got it. I see no way this could go wrong at all. But you're not doing it alone. Is that allowed? Only Excalibur may defeat the Green Knight, and only a worthy champion may wield it. <gasps> okay, anything else that you would like to share with the group? You led me to believe that you were capable of vanquishing monsters. We usually are, but our main champion's a little busy. Then there is no hope? That's the whole point. And the only way to do that is together, united. Believe in me half as much as I believe in you, and we can get through this. I do not believe you will, not unless the blood of kings runs through your veins. That is what you think being worthy means? Yes, it is the very definition. Okay, Boomer, maybe in your time. Okay, okay, Boomer, yeah, Boomer. Whatever you say, Boomer, Boomer. Okay, okay, Boomer, yeah, Boomer. Now we will get hope back. Who do you think she's going to want to see when she wakes up? That's horrifying. Need a hand? The worthy one has arrived. I want someone to punch her. Water them for a second. No, she just walks barefoot through the hallway, which is somehow more terrifying than any monster that could come out of Malivor. I care about field day. I care about you way more. I would like them to get together. Lizzie thinks that I should spend a little time with mom, but I don't want you to think that you can't help me, because I know that all you've been doing lately is trying to help me. Getting Landon back is my top priority. And I won't stop until I do it. Does it still smell like a dead body in here? So I'm sorry, his body starts decomposing, but then he goes back. You know, I don't I don't need to question this. I'm sure they don't know either. Good luck, Chad. I really hope you do. They say value your lives like anyone dies on this show. Okay, here's the thing. I would say that there's a lot to unpack here, but there literally isn't. It 
that like felt like a filler episode, but it was the opener for the season. Really like not seeing what the overarching arcing plot is for the season, which is on brand for the show, but is also what really makes the show also feel like a child's show is that it just seems like it's the monster of the week and it's all wrapped up by the end of the episode. Like we really, we don't, we don't need that. We don't, I don't need any more monsters. We had how many seasons we have had 13 seasons in total of shows set within the vampire diaries universe before any of these monsters were ever even mentioned and i like i cool like they were in malvo they were forgotten but it's like they weren't really forgotten because they're all like like pegasus we know what a pegasus is so, like i don't really understand it's just like you're, you're they're just making shit up at this point and i'd rather like if they're gonna make a new thing which like obviously like they should make a new thing i'd rather it be like here's one monster this season and we're really gonna hash out the lore and the backstory for it that'll just be so much more interesting to me i will say i follow a lot of people on stan twitter and there's like a theory that last season they said that a non-consensual kiss is never the answer and obviously like hope's dead boots she can't consent to a kiss so there's like some theory that like it's not really hope in hope's body or like it's like something like wrong with hope because she was woken up with a non-consensual kiss i think that would be brilliant but i also think that would be mm, asking a lot of the writers. Julie Pleck has already struggled with continuity between seasons of the objectively better TV shows that she was working on, so I think it would be really surprising if they did draw back to that line, but it would be really interesting. I've gotten very overly critical of like TV shows and movies over the past year because I obviously watched a lot of them while I was sitting in my house doing nothing else because the world stopped turning. So I'm being very harsh on it. I really like the the actors and actresses on it. Like I love Kaylee Bryant, I love Danielle, I think Ari is great, but like I, I think they really care about the show and it feels like they want to see the same things on the show that we do. I have so many ideas for directions that the show could have gone in that like in my humble opinion, I think would have been a lot more interesting. Um, obviously, they're my ideas, so I'm a little biased, but I feel like they really could have done so many things with this show that they're not doing. And it's really sad because like I was really looking for like it's cool to see like the next generation of my favorite TV show characters. Like it's their kids. But um yeah, I don't know when this video is actually gonna be posted, but it's the day that Legacies is airing episode two. So if you wanna see me review that one too, um, let me know down below. Always happy to drag anything through the mud for the sake of entertainment. Thank you for hanging out with me today and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.